Welcome to the Tax One review. This will be a general review of Tax One. It will have some high points of policy, but for the most part, it's going to stress the rules, which will include the high points of tax procedure. Before you begin, it's a good idea to have a copy of your code book open, as well as some note paper, and if you have one available, a Form 1040, as well as the instructions. Every tax has two components, a rate and a base. For example, you buy a car for $5,000, you pay a 6% sales tax, your base is $5,000, your rate is 6%, and the tax is obviously $300. The federal income tax is the same. It has a rate found in Section 1, which is graduated, and it has the base, which is essentially Section 63 of the Code. Section 1 is easy to apply. You look at the table, and if you have an IQ of over 82, you'll be able to figure out what to do. The federal income tax base, found in Section 63, is extremely difficult. You'll come to see that this whole course is really about Section 63, subject to some small modifications. Now, once you've generated Section 63, you multiply it by the rate, and then you subtract your credits that you're entitled to, if any, and that's your federal income tax liability for the year. If you pay it by May 15th, you're okay. If you pay late, you'll suffer civil penalties and interest. Now, to get to Section 63, you have to wade through Section 61, which defines gross income, then go through subtractions under Section 62, and then uh, finally further subtractions found in 63. We'll look at these items later. The first order of business is to look at constitutional considerations. The usual concern, at least in uh, federal income tax courses, is with sorting out the term direct versus indirect taxes. A direct tax is one that falls on property or income from property. The Constitution provides, by way of a very serious limitation, that no direct tax can be laid amongst the states unless it is in proportion to census data. This would be a tall order, if not impossible, because it is so hard to prorate a tax in proportion to population. As a result of this defect, we need the 16th Amendment, which we got. What it does is to amend the Constitution to provide that direct taxes can be reached. Let's go to indirect taxes for a moment. Those are taxes on things like labor or